what's going on guys so i want to take a look at another chart here and that chart is going to be airbnb a b n b that is a ticker the reason why i want to take a look at this stock is because we had did recently actually not recently this year we had come off highs of around uh 215.64 that was all the way back in march and then we had this big massive sell-off here and then kind of just trading in this lower range here started to build a little bit of momentum but you can see here in this little white uh, gray highlighted box that i have here from september to around uh november currently we've been kind of basing out and consolidating a little bit of distribution here we kind of spike up come back down and test the lower moving averages come back up spike down come back up spike down uh we got that big breakout okay so we did get that big breakout on earnings big nice gap up with the green uh bar here then we did make a push to thir to 11.34 a little bit of a sell-off with the market when we got that uh, inflation data numbers come out. But if you can notice here, we did come back down and test this five-day moving average. So Airbnb has not even tested the 10-day moving average. If you know me, you know that I believe that the 10-day moving average is the birth of the trade. Okay, so that's whether it's to the long side or to the short side. Meaning that when something reclaims a 10-day moving average, we know that something's cooking. OK, uh, when something's riding the five day moving average, we know that we're on a power trend, baby. And, and that basically, you know, we're going to spike up. We're going to come back down. We're going to test that until we break below the 10 day moving average. I'm really not looking to short any stock. I don't care if stocks are running at all time highs. I'm not going to short the top coming down because I don't want to get burned. This stock is extremely strong. It's been strong for the past four or five days here, even though it did sell off pull back with the market it pulled back to the five day moving average and friday put in a monster candle seven and a half percent up fifteen dollars on a day and closed at 206.54 so i have a couple of levels that i'm looking at going into next week those levels are going to be a sneaky area for experienced day traders and or scalpers that level is going to be 208.18 208.18 is going to have a measured potential to 211.34 if you know what you're doing you know how to set a stop loss you're not an emotional trader uh if the trade goes against you once it breaks that 208.18 and you know how to get out of a trade if it tries to retrace against you 208 is going to have room to 211 for everyone else, I would wait for the top wick break here on this 211.34. Look for a break and retest. What I mean by a break and retest is we want to see this break 211.35. We want to see it put in a new high. We want to see it pull back. And that second wave through that new high is going to be your entry. Whether that takes one, two, three days to come, that is a trade that you want to take. So I don't want you guys to watch the screen like, you know, your eyes are glued to the to the computer monitor, to your phones and say that you have to buy this as soon as it breaks to 1134. I would like this to break to 1135. I would like it to put in a new high. I would like it to pull back, whether that be pull back into hourly support off of the five day moving average or daily pull back into the five and then retrace and then now reclaim that new high on that new high. I would like to take the entry. Let's just take a look at the weekly time frame for all of you swing traders. If you can kind of see here, this 211.35, every time we've got above it in the past, we kind of spike and wick back up. We kind of spike and wick up. We spike and wick up. We spike and wick up. So can Airbnb start to set in some new highs going into the new year here? Um, what we would really be looking for here on Airbnb is anything closing over 220. As you can see here, we touched 219.78, but we have not closed over that 219, closed over that 220. As soon as we get that close over that 220, you can look to start turning this 208, 211 into some support that has previously acted as a resistance. It's not rocket science, guys. Follow the charts, follow the trends. However, a few trade setups that I gave you guys, 208, uh, quick scalp, quick day trade into 211. Any close over 211.35 does have measured potential to 220. I hope that helps. Guys, if you like these kind of videos and you want more content, a little bit more help, I do have a website. That website is evolutiontraders.com. I also have a Discord, very, very active community, very, very small community. So if you're a little bit of a newer trader, you're a little bit not so experienced and you don't want to jump into these big trading rooms that got hundreds and hundreds of people, thousands of people where you're kind of throwing around all of these numbers and these stocks and you don't really understand. My community is a very small, tight-knit community of about 60 people. 
Uh, we try to help each other out as best as we can, calling out certain levels. And, and we play stocks all the way from, you know, small uh, small cap stocks, $10 stocks, all the way up to, you know, the Amazons, Teslas, Facebooks, Googles of the world. I hope that helps, guys. If you did stay to the end of this video, please do me a favor. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment. Share this video. I want to get this video out to as many people as possible. I'd like to grow my channel to at least a thousand subscribers before the end of the year i know i'm a little bit away from that but you can help me out by just clicking that subscribe i will see you guys all on the next youtube video